Welcome to this quick overview of Scene 7 Core Dashboard. I'm currently logged in as the admin user so that we can see everything available within the Scene 7 Core product. Depending on your user setup and permissions, your screen may look different to what is shown here. Users and permissions can be accessed and modified via the settings page. Starting with the options at the top, here we have the settings toolbar. Depending on the settings and integrations you have enabled, this bar will display more information. For instance, if you have an accounting integration enabled, you will see this drop down here with your accounting platform's logo. This drop down will also d display current sync status and you can access the sync history from this drop down as well. On the right hand side we have a quick add icon. It enables you to create multiple types of records from wherever you are in the system. This selection can be expanded by selecting the show more button. Next we have a notifications bell which will display all notifications whether they are system updates from SYN7 or generated by your own custom notifications in the automations module. Following on from there we have a language selector and a layout customization menu. Here you can change the color schemes of SYN7 Core as well as select from vertical or horizontal menu layouts depending on your preference of the size of your monitor. You can also choose between fixed width, default or compact grid modes. These purely affect how large and wide the lists and the systems appear. They don't change any other system functions. It is important to know that these changes will only affect your user account so feel free to customize SYN7 Core in a way that best suits you. The right hand side of the settings toolbar displays key account information, including a user setting drop down where you can do things like change your password, log out, or update your subscription. Next we'll move on to the navigation menu on the left hand side of the screen, where we see each of the modules within your SYN7 Core account. When you select the module, its contents will expand and you will see a list of records you can create under the new section and all the searchable list of records under the search section. These are all organized to match the different areas of work. So for instance, supplier records can be found alongside purchase records within the purchase module. At the bottom of this menu we have the support button. This enables you to quickly search the DN knowledge base for additional information and even raises support requests directly with our support team. The dashboard shows a wide variety of quick insights known as widgets. This is by no means the extent of reporting in SYN7, but merely shows system health at a glance. More in-depth reports can be accessed in our reporting module located on the left-hand side of the navigation menu. You have a few options to customize the dashboard to your liking. You can drag and drop the header of the widget to rearrange the view. You are also able to expand and minimize the widgets here. And of course, if you have no need for any particular widget, you can remove it with a tap of the X button. The analytics of the dashboard can be run over a date range that you select. To do this, select the drop down next to the date in the top left. You can select a dynamic date range period such as the last 30 days or even select a specific date range from the calendar selection below. Better yet, you can add comparison information to your widgets by selecting the compare to previous dates option. Each widget can be interacted with in unique ways, including switching between different tab views, changing the display of graphs and also as links to custom lists of items or to records themselves. Thank you for watching this quick overview.